Welcome to the last week of July. This message is going to be very similar to the one from last week. I mean, we are in the last full week of July. There's not a lot of productivity going on now. You might be getting ready for planning day. We're shipping out your planning day workbooks if you've already ordered them. Definitely sign up if you have not already um, signed up for planning day. We are going to plan your fall like you have never planned your fall before using the new Organized 365 Planner. Look at that. We've got the train in here for brain dump. Uh, that'll be part of planning day prep. We'll link inside of this forecast, the video for this workbook where I'm walking you through which parts of this will be done in planning day prep and which parts will be done in planning day. So if you're doing planning day, you might want to add on the prep just for the fall if you haven't tried it yet. It definitely adds a lot to your planning day experience and helps you get all the way done with your planning in one fell swoop. I, this week, will be dreaming. This is the week that I typically go to the beach and I really think and I reflect on the last year and what's coming up on the next year. August 1st really feels to me like the start of a new year, more than January 1st ever has. Maybe because, you know, in America, we are, always start school in August, September. Maybe because you've had that nice, long, relaxing, whether you like it or not, you stop being productive in July, so you actually caught up on your sleep and uh, you're baked in the sun and you just, you just are ready, like you're ready for productivity. I'm ready for a new year in January, but I don't feel refreshed or rested going into January. I feel like I just ran a marathon getting through the holidays and now you got to hurry up and get all these things done in this one week you have off before you're going to hit the ground running into the next year. This feels much more like the, okay, I have taken care of me. I have relaxed a little bit. I've thought about the last year. I'm dreaming about the new year and I am ready. I am ready for the fall. I'm ready for the 10 most productive weeks. So I'll be spending a lot of time this week using our little notepads. I use the small one for individual ideas that I have, thoughts that I have, so I can sort them into different slash pockets or do the tasks as I have the energy to do them and then just discard them. I typically use more aligned notepads like this when I'm thinking about ideas for an, for an event. So like we just finished the back to school blitz. So I might start this and say back to school blitz. What worked, what didn't work, what do I wanna do next year? What have I done in years past that maybe would have been better? And also this year, we're pushing the back to school blitz into the first three weeks in August. So no big deal if you haven't done it yet, you can join us in August and your friends can join us as well. So I'll be carrying these around this week, writing down a whole bunch of things that I'm ready to do in the new year. And we're headed into August. So next year, we're all gonna start to get to feel a little bit more productive. Did I say next year? I mean next week. See what I mean? August is like a new year for me. So when we start to hit the first week of August, you're gonna start thinking, ooh, I'd like to date a calendar. I'd like to clear out my slash pockets. I'd like to go through my closet and make sure that my clothes are gonna fit for the fall. You're gonna start to feel this tug of productive energy. And I'm just gonna fan that flame and we are gonna get ready for the 10 most productive weeks of the year. The 10 most productive weeks of the year start on Labor Day. And what I noticed is I usually get all ready for back to school. I get the kids off to back to school back when they went to school or I get myself back into work and I get the team going. And then we hit Labor Day and we have a lot of goals and a lot of plans and we tend to run as far as my planning takes me. So if I'm really planned for the fall, we can run all the way through September and in, into October and even into the second week of November. But if I've only planned for September, we'll run hard in September and then everyone will look up and go, what are we, what are we doing in October? You're looking around for someone to make the plan, to create the flow that you're going to follow. But maybe this year, you're gonna be where the flow comes from. And this is a skill, learning to plan so that you can create a big enough goal that will move you or your team all the way through the 10 weeks from Labor Day until the second week in November is a skill, is an art. There's a, um, a pushing and pulling that goes. As your team starts to get overwhelmed, you take the foot off the gas, let everyone catch a breath, and then you push forward again. But if you don't know how to do that, then you'll only usually get the energy of September, and all of a sudden in October, you might feel like you're kind of floundering, both at home and at work. So if this is something you're interested in doing and seeing like, oh, I wonder how much capacity I have. I wonder how far I can take this productive energy. There are a couple of things you're going to want to do. 
Number one, you definitely are going to want to start listening to the podcasts that are coming out in August. We're going to count down to these 10 most productive weeks of the year. Five, four, three, two, one. Next week, we'll be doing step five, which is get your Sunday basket ready. So get your Sunday basket ready. And then we'll cascade through planning day, the productive home solution, your paper. These are all your systems, the operational systems that a household runs on that we have to establish and put into place because I mean, houses don't come with them. And if you don't have them, then you kind of are like just doing whatever you see needs to be done next, which works in some seasons and doesn't work at all in other seasons. Don't worry, I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through August, where you are on this continuum, what your next step is, and how you can enjoy the 10 most productive weeks starting after Labor Day. But this week, this week, read a book, take a nap, dream, and then next week, we hit August, it's time. It's time to lace up our running shoes and make sure we have everything ready. So when September comes and everybody's come back to work or is fully back to school, we are ready to get things done.